So a really cool new feature that has been added to um, Photoshop, which of course I love and it makes everything easier. Um, I will link the skies that I've added. It does come with three supplemented folders of skies as well. Um, you'll click edit and then scroll down to sky replacement. Right now it is trying to find the sky in your image. And then voila, you see how it added it in. Now these are a part of my sunset sky overlays. And again, I will link them. I'm going to use this one because I think it's really pretty. And I don't know, I just love cotton candy and like pink. And so um, you can scale it to be bigger, smaller. Um, and if you notice, like the background is extremely blurred compared to like the sky itself. So we will have to change that. You do have the option to fade the edges so that um, it's not as strong, which would be uh, more natural because normally when the sun shows, you do have that faded edge. Um, and then you can also shift the edge. You can have it go up some more. Um, I'm going to leave it at probably, I'll just turn it back to zero because it can be played with later. So here's the sky itself. Um, and what we want to do, I'm going to convert it to a smart object, the group itself. Um, and then I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we want uh, it to be about just as creamy, you know, as the background itself. So we are going to set it to about here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a vector mask and then with a soft black brush, at about 30%. I'm just going to paint across, let me move this because it's in my way, um, paint it across the horizon. Kind of lighten it up a little bit. And really that's it. So this was such a cool feature that's been added into the Photoshop. Now I have the monthly subscription. So of course I get all the updates. Um, if you have an older version, you probably will not have this. So thanks for watching.